Hello everyone and welcome back to our English class. I'm Monica Yordake. And I'm Akshay Singh. And today we will talk about two vocabulary topics, transport and travel for the sixth graders and rules and instructions for the eighth graders. So let's start off. Today our learning objective, sixth graders, will be the definition of transportation, advantages and disadvantages, and the basic division of transport. So let's go. Astăzi vom învăța cum să definim mijloacele de transport, diviziunea acestora, dar și avantajele și dezavantajele utilizării lor. Let's see the definition now. The definition, transportation system for moving passengers or goods from one place to another. Mijloacele de transport reprezintă un sistem de mișcare a persoanelor numite pasageri sau a obiectelor dintr-un loc în altul. Similarly, transport, movement of people, animals and goods from one location to another and means of transport, different kinds of transport facilities that are often used to transport people or cargo, as we mentioned before. And what is transport infrastructure? It consists of the fixed installations, including roads, railways, airways, waterways, pipelines and terminals, such as airports, railway station, bus stations, warehouses, trucking terminals, refueling depots, and seaports. Infrastructura de transport este una foarte complexă, incluzând foarte multe elemente. We can travel by land, by air, or by water. Let's see what about the land transport. We can use cars and this mean of transport is fast and comfortable or buses, this mean of transport is big and not very fast. We also have trains. This mean of transport is long and comfortable. We have lorries. This means of transport is big and not very fast. Let's move on. We have the tractor. This mean of transport is slow and completely uncomfortable. And taxi. This mean of transport is fast and comfortable. And of course we have your favorite bicycle. This mean of transport is little and slow. And the motorcycle, this means of transport is little and fast. We can have a tram, this mean of transport is long and uncomfortable. And a trolley bus, this mean of transport is big and slow. We move on to water transport. And in water transport, as you can see, we have the ship. This mean of transport is big and comfortable and the boat. This means of transport is little and slow. Concerning the air transport, we have the plane. This mean of transport is big and fast and helicopter. This mean of transport is short and comfortable. We move on to underground transport such as the metro. This means of transport is of course long and comfortable. Concerning the phonetic part, we have here three groups of letters and we will show you how to pronounce them. We have the group of sounds A as in plane, train, stay. And we have the er sound as in luggage, bus and bus stop. And the last one is the short I, as in ship, ticket, miss. Let's see some transport verbs now. 
We can catch a train, we can catch a boat or a ship, a plane, a bus or a taxi. We can miss a train, a boat, a ship, a plane or a bus. And I can get in or get into a car, a train, a taxi. Or get out of a car, a taxi. But on a motorcycle or a bicycle, I get onto a motorbike, a bicycle, a train, a boat, a ship, a plane or a bus. We can get off a motorbike, a bicycle, a train, a boat or a ship, a plane or a bus. And of course, we ride a motorbike, we ride a bicycle. We can take a train, a bus or a taxi. And drive a car, a train, a bus or a taxi. We can steer a boat or a ship. And we get down, we disembark from a boat, a ship, a plane. And we board a plane, a train or a bus. In English, we use the verbs drive, ride, go and take to talk about travel and transport, as you can see in the following examples. Ava is going to school. Because Ava can't drive, she cycles. It takes her an hour to ride to school, but she enjoys the exercise. Ava doesn't like taking the bus because it's always so crowded. Sometimes her mother drives her. She enjoys riding in her mother's car. Now we are going to see a short video about transport in United Kingdom. Taxis in London are a popular icon. They're called cabs. The driver is called a cabbie or cab driver and they're usually black. When you see a cab, put out your arm to stop the driver. Tell him or her where you want to go and sit and relax. Remember to give the cabbie a small tip when you pay though. Cycling around London is healthy but a bit dangerous. Traditional red double-decker buses give you a good view of the city, but they can be a bit slow in the morning or evening traffic. You pay the driver when you get on, or you can use your day or weekly travel card. There's always an underground or tube station nearby in London, and it's the quickest way to get around. The only problem is, it's always full of people. Buy your ticket at the ticket office, and then check there are no problems with your line they're sometimes closed for works or problems. Finding your way around is easy with the underground map. There are 12 lines and each line has a different color. The circle line is yellow, for example, and the district line green. The tube in London's expensive if you don't pay with an Oyster card. For example, children under 16 pay just one pound all day. You have to insert your ticket into the machine or touch the Oyster card on the pad. Make sure you get the right ticket. It can be expensive, if not. The escalators save you walking up and down the stairs. In some stations, there are lifts, but these get very crowded at busy times. Remember to stand on the right, as people walking down on the left are probably in a hurry and will get annoyed if you don't. As you can see, the platform curves, but the trains are straight. This creates a space that people could fall into, so a recorded voice says, mind the gap, over and over. Mind the gap, In case you forget, it's also written on the platform. Mind the gap, Be careful of the closing doors. You can get a seat if you're lucky, but be prepared to stand up in the morning and evening rush hours. The tube is very popular among Londoners. Listen for the announcements on the train. They'll tell you the name of the next station and any connections available. Let's move on to our practice part. And for the first activity, we should make our own story Having these examples, how do you like to travel, Akshay? I like to travel by plane. Why? Well, because it's comfortable and I really love being up in the air and watching everything down. 
the landscape. What about you, Monica? I like to travel by train because I used to do that during my childhood. And it is comfortable. Yes, of course. And how do you like to travel? With whom do you like to travel, Monica? Well, I like to travel with a friend because I enjoy the good conversations. Of course. What about you? The same with me. I like to travel with a friend. Travel, I think, is extremely fascinating. And me, I think traveling is very useful sometimes because we learn a lot of new things. For the next activity, we have to fill in the missing letter in order to discover the words corresponding to the pictures. The first letter that is missing is... A. Plane. The second one... To travel. The third one... An I, the train. The next one is an I also, seaside. The letter Y, to fly. Again an I, to arrive, for the verb. An A, for taxi. And an O, for voyage. The next activity, we have to make up a dialogue to put in order these sentences. So, so we are going to show you the correct version of the dialogue. Just take a look at the sentences. Monica, which one will be the first one? I think this one. I would like a ticket to Moscow, please. Yes. I think so. I think so too. So let's see. Let's read the final version. I would like a ticket to Moscow, please. When are you going to fly? Today. Just a minute. I think flight 11 is best for you. When is the flight? 7.10, ma'am. Excellent. How much is the ticket? That will be 14 pounds. You have very simple functional language here. Aveți un limbaj funcțional foarte simplist. For the next activity, we should write the best word to fill in each blank. Let's see the first example. We took a yellow dash to the park and the correct answer is We took a yellow cab to the park. For the second one, there was a dash out on the water. And the correct answer is There was a sailboat out on the water. On the water. Jake rode the dash down the snowy hill. Of course, the sled. And the last one, our group took a large dash to the island. And the correct answer is ferry. Let's move on to our next activity. For this activity, we have to place the correct words. This vehicle has two wheels. And it is a... A bike. Another word for taxi is... Cab, of course, the famous cabs from New York City. And this vehicle has wings and starts with a P, obviously a plane. This word rhymes with far and it is a car. And the next word rhymes with can. It can only be van. A school bus is big and yellow, usually. Usually. Yeah. And a garbage truck picks up the trash. This word rhymes with float and it is a boat. And this vehicle travels on tracks. It can only be a train. And for the last one, this word rhymes with get and it is, of course, a jet. For the next activity, we have to guess which is the correct word. It has four wheels and carries people around town. A bus? Exactly. It has two wheels and carries one or two people. It is a bike or a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It looks like a bus but with electricity. A trolley bus. Great. It has wings and can fly, obviously. Of course. It's the plane. It is comfortable and carries a lot of people from town to town. A train. And it has four wheels can carry four or five people and it is very convenient. It's a taxi. 
And the last one, it can sail, but it is very, very slow. A ship. All right. For our last part of the lesson, we are going to give you some tips, travel tips. So let's, uh, let's mention them. A major part of traveling is getting, obviously, from place to place, whether you are abroad or traveling in the US, there are multiple transportation options to choose from. Fantastic part of traveling is experiencing new forms of transportation, all while trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B on your itinerary. Sometimes it works out and other times you have to keep an open mind if you end up getting lost. It just might lead you to an unexpected discovery. Atunci când călătoriți, este bine să explorați cât mai multe mijloace de transport, mai ales în străinătate, pentru a vă apropia de cultura și experiențele inedite întâlnite acolo. Exploring various modes of transportation is a fun, exciting way to discover new things about a city and change up your traveling habits. The right mode for you will depend on the city you're in, what type of experience you're looking to have, and your own personal preferences. We recommend trying out as many as you can during your traveling adventures. Don't knock it till you try it. We hope you will find our tips useful and The homework task for you guys is a speaking task. This time you should compare the following means of transport. Car, coach, plane or train using the adjectives below. Trip expensive, fast, slow, comfortable, uncomfortable, exciting, boring, create pollution or reduce pollution. And we have a short example for you. My favorite means of transport is the train. I like it for several reasons. Firstly, the train is quite cheap when compared with flying. Furthermore, taking the train is a great way to see the countryside. Another thing I like about trains is that they are comfortable and you can get up and move around. That's a great example. Putem vedea aici conector secvențial precum firstly, furthermore, or another thing, care ne ajută în exprimare atunci când oferim argumente opiniilor noastre. The next time we are going to talk about housework for the sixth grade and types of stories for the eighth graders. That was all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Have a good time. Stay safe.